Hi, my name is Brian Smith, and in this video I'm going to cover the new Podman auto-update functionality that can help keep container images up to date. In this demo, I'm on a RHEL 8.3 beta system running Podman version 2, which is where the auto-update functionality was introduced. The Podman auto-update functionality is a technology preview in RHEL 8.3. I have a running container named MariaDB using the MariaDB-103 Red Hat image. And in this demo, we're going to use the Podman auto-update functionality to update this container's image to the latest version. But first, there's a couple of prerequisites before you can use the Podman auto-update functionality that we need to talk about. The first prerequisite is the container must be labeled with the io.containers.autoupdate label set to image. In this case, this was done when the container was originally created using the Podman run dash dash label option. We can verify that the label is set using the podman inspect command where you can see that it is set correctly. Another prerequisite for podman auto update is the container must be managed by systemd. We can generate a systemd service configuration with a podman generate systemd dash dash new command. For more information on podman generate systemd, check out the other video I made on this topic which is linked in the description below. Once we've created the systemd service configuration file, I'll run a systemctl daemon reload to have systemd read in the new file. If we take a look at the systemd configuration file that was created, you'll notice that it still contains the IO containers auto update label that had been set when the container was originally created. Next, I'll go ahead and start the container under systemd with the systemctl start mariadb underscore container command. If we run podman images, we can see that our mariadb-103 image was created 18 months ago, so it is very out of date. We can also use the oscap podman tool to do an evaluation of the image to see a report of the packages that are out of date. For more information on how to use the oscap podman command, see the other video I made on the topic, which is linked in the description below. Once we've generated the report, I'll go ahead and open it up in a web browser. And you can see that we have 46 packages that are reported as out of date. And if we do a search for MariaDB, you can see that the version that we're running is affected by a number of CVEs. Okay, let's switch back to the command line, and we're going to take a look at our database and show that it is up and running and that we have some data in the test table. And we'll also take a look at the version, which is reported as 10.3.11. At this point, we're ready to run Podman Auto Update. However, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. Podman is focused on individual nodes, so there will be some downtime for the container during the auto update while the container is restarted. Container images also have different requirements regarding updating the images, and some container images might require extra steps as part of the upgrade. Make sure you understand these update considerations and requirements before attempting an auto update. In the case of the Red Hat MariaDB 103 image, we can refer to the Red Hat image catalog to read about the update considerations which state that for the .z upgrades, there are no special upgrade procedures needed. And with any upgrade, it's always a good idea to have a good backup of your data. So before I do the Podman auto update, I'm also going to do a MySQL dump to back up my database. Okay, let's go ahead and run Podman auto update. And what it's going to do is go out and pull the latest version of the MariaDB 103 image. And I'll go ahead and speed up the video until that has been completed. Okay, at this point, the latest version has been pulled down and the Podman auto update has updated our uh, container with the latest version of the image. Let's go ahead and validate the version of MariaDB, which is now reported as 10.3.17. And let's also validate that we can still access the data that's in our database, which we can. And finally, we'll run another OSCAP Podman evaluation and we'll review the number of packages that are now reported as out of date on the container image. We'll go ahead and open that report in Firefox. And as you can see, we now have zero packages that are reported as um, non-compliant, and everything below looks green. Well, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.